Hi Greedy 3 Dears, now you know me, I like to try out a new resin or two when they land on my doorstep and I've been sent this by Ace Additor who reached out to me and asked me would I test their resin for them and tell you what I think about it. Well of course I will do such things. Let me talk you through this resin, I'll show you what experiences I've had with it, I'll show you the results I've got with it and we will talk a little further. Stay tuned. <music> So one of the first things that I see about this resin that you will see also is it don't come in a bottle, it comes in a packet. So the other thing I've noticed about it straight away is it's 1.2 kilograms over the usual one kilogram that you get. So we've got a bit of a recyclable package here made of plastic. We've got a, a bit more resin in there than you normally get. Cost wise, I did a bit of scooting around on the old Tinterweb. I can get this from their website directly for about 24 UK pounds. May have to add some delivery on top of that depending on how much you buy. But if you buy over 50 pounds worth, it's free. Um, and if you're a first time customer, you can get a 10% discount from their website, which all the details will be on their website when you vanish across to them and I'll put a link in the description there. So for 24 quid for 1.2 kilograms, that's not horrendous. My go-to resin is Jam J. I love Jam J. I'm sorry guys, I love Jam J. Um, and I pay about £24 a kilogram for that, which again is not a bad price. You can get cheaper ones on the market at the moment. A quick scooty around Amazon will get you two kilograms of maybe some Sun Lu or J.O. for around about 25 quid, 30 quid. You've got to catch the bargains when they pop up there. So yes, this resin is a little bit more expensive. What have I found with printing with it? Well, to be absolutely honest, it printed fine. I've got no problems with it. I had no failures. I popped it on my Unification GK2 and it works fine. It's worked fine at two seconds. No problems, no issues. Everything's cut out. The only thing I'd say is, one of the claims they make on their website is if you clean it with alcohol, you can get a dull finish. And if you clean it with non-alcohol, you can get a shiny finish. So I've dropped the guys an email to say, what do you mean not cleaning it with alcohol? Because it's clearly not water washable. So what else could you use to clean it if it's not alcohol? And this is what they said. One, instead of rinsing the resin, leave the prints in a cool location for approximately one hour and then proceed to cure them directly. However, this approach may result in excessive resin on the surface and uneven results. 2. Apply a small, uniform amount of resin across the clean print. 3. After cleaning, apply the varnish and subsequently cure the prints. So that is a video in its own making is to test some of these theories. But let's just quickly look at that. So the first option is to leave it, do nothing with it and then cure it. Probably would leave some marks on it, but you know what? Let's try it. Second option is to clean it with IPA, then paint a layer of resin on and then cure it. And the third option was clean it completely, varnish it, then cure it. Again, we could try these in a forthcoming video, but that's the reply that I got to the question that I asked. A whole new can of worms has been opened there. But something they did say which was interesting, which I think is really important, they're offering me 25% off. More importantly, they're offering you guys 25% off the cost. Now, they've advised also to buy the bigger batches. So if you get a bigger batch and you apply the 25% code off it, which I'll put in the description, the code is a nice easy one to remember. It's Greedy3D, all the links will be in there. You can get this for something like 14 quid a kilogram, which is which is an amazing cost. You can also get free postage on it. I recommend you check that out because that cost factor is a massive thing in buying this resin. Now, I don't know how long this offer will last. They haven't given me a time frame on it. But if you want to look at getting some, use the Greedy 3D discount, 25% off. This makes it a lot more of an appealing resin, don't you think? But let's have a look at it in action. Let's do some printing. Let's do some test prints. Let's see it in its glory. That's what you're here for. Let's have a look right now. So I'm using the usual frozen XP test to get the exposure right. And I went between 1.5 and 2.5. And here is two seconds, which is the sweet spot. And using those settings on a Uniformation GK2 and a two second exposure, here is Mantis from VX Labs. As you can see, the quality is superb. She's looking absolutely wonderful. All the details are there. She's smooth, she's clean, she's printed marvelously. There's lots of fine details in this print and everything has come out great. I've had no failures whatsoever yeah, from the small parts to the bigger parts and I even printed the base in one go and it went out beautifully so settings on two seconds using this resin on the GK2 were the sweet spot as I said and everything is marvellous okay guys so there you go that's my review of acidity would I buy it well you know what 
lots of resins at the moment are really good. Lots of resins are holding their own. Lots of resins are doing what it says on the tin. This is one of them. It does it. Everything's printed fine. I had no problems with it. It's not brittle. It's a good resin. What you use, what you choose to use as your day-to-day -day go to resin will be entirely up to you. If you choose Ace Adder 2, yeah, fine. I've had no issues with it. I know other people in the 3D printing fraternity who love this stuff. So that's absolutely fine. Cost-wise, it's a little bit more than some of the other brands you will find on the market. But prices on all sorts of things fluctuate all over the place. And, you know, you've got to add a little bit of package and potion on this because I couldn't get this on Amazon. Couldn't get it on free delivery on Prime like you can get with some of the others. So again, this has to be a factor in your conclusion. So whichever one you choose to buy, if you choose this one, from my experience, it's printed absolutely wonderfully. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you found that of some use. If you want to support the channel, you know what to do. Subscribe, have a look at the Patreon scheme. You know, that's always a good thing to do. Um, buy something from the description. You will uh, see that it's an Amazon affiliate link and a little bit will kick back to me and allow me to carry on doing things like this. But above all, comment, let me know. What do you think of this Asadity uh, resin? Do you like it? Don't you like it? Have you used it? Have you had good experience? Have you had a bad experience? I'd be really interested to know. And I'll see you next time real, real soon on Greedy 3D. Thank you.